Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the third part of uh, the practical on creating a web page using HTML. So, in this part, in the previous part, we have discussed about the different uh, headings, the paragraph tag, and the break tag. So, as you can see, these are the six different heading styles. This is the H1, which is the largest, and this is the H6, which is the smallest. And by default, they are all in the they are aligned towards the left. Now, if I want that uh, this number system should be in the center or it should be in the right side, it should be right aligned. So, we have to use a tag or uh, I will say an attribute. So, what is an attribute? As I have already told in my introductory class of HTML, that uh, the attributes, they are options for the tags. Like um, there are some uh, tags uh, in which we can choose different options like in case of font, I can increase the font also, I can decrease the font also, I can change the color of the font or I can change the alignment of my text. So all these can be done using the attributes and we have different values for those. So let us see how I can change the alignment. So for that, let us move to our notepad file. So this is our file. Here we have created these different um, tags, the different heading tags. So I am giving a gap so that all these headings are clear. And as we know that these gaps doesn't matter because they will not affect the appearance of our web page as uh, we have to use a proper tag for giving a break or spacing. So for attribute, for using the alignment here after the H1, I will use the attribute align. equal to uh, this is left so I'm using left alignment here now here I will use and here I will use And I'm now again I'm saving the document and I'm refreshing it and as you can see this is left aligned this is center aligned and this is right aligned so this was about the alignment or the align attribute now students we all know that we use uh, in PowerPoint presentations or in word files we use bullets and numbers so how we can add a bullet or a number in our HTML file or in our web page uh, so a bulleted list is a kind of unordered list there is no numbering no sequencing uh, so this is an unordered list it is uh, a bulleted list in HTML is called as unordered list and it is used to show the items in a particular order. So uh, when do we use bullets? We use bullets to list the content in such a way that it looks more organized. So here there are no bullets. So let us find how can we add bullets. So for that we have to move to our HTML file and I want wherever I have used these break tags. Now I want um, here I want to remove these um, break tags from here and I want uh, to add an, uh, a bulleted list. So first of all, from where uh, I add, like I want my bulleted list to start from here, I will write type UL, that is unordered list. 
okay and i will write li wherever i want a bullet and then i will type the end of this is the end of the bulleted list so i will type the closing tag for the unordered list and then i will save my document let us see this in the web browser so here is the result i have used can uh, let us see again so this was my file i have used ul when i want the bulleted list to start and the closing tag of unordered list here when i want this to end and i have used li wherever i want the bullet so these uh, the, i have made three bullets and as you can see there are three bullets in the in the body tag of our web page student i want instead of these bullets i want a numbered list i want a numbering 1 2 3 so uh, numbered list is in html we call it as ordered list and it is used for displaying items in a specific orders like a set of instructions or a table of content like an index so i want to change this into number so what i will do here is my notepad file i have written ul ul stands for unordered list i am making it as ol this is the simplest way through which i can show it quickly and i am changing the closing tag also as ol now let us save this file and let us see the result i am refreshing it and you can see it has changed to a number students i want uh, instead of 1 2 3 i want um, it should appear in roman numerals or in alphabetical order so for that what we need to do we will just type just in front of ol i will type type is equal to a and then i will save it again in the same way you can change um abc if you type um type is equal to small a it will appear in small alphabetical orders you can write uh, in roman numerals anything now i forgot to tell you about the unordered list types so if it is uh, ul and i want a different type the bullets were circular i i want it to be square so i will type square and i will save it and let us check in the web browser or in our web file you can see the bulleted list changed to a square bullet the bullets are now square so you can use um, whatever bullet you want to use so now students we have learned about the alignment attribute we have learned about the ordered list and the unordered list that is Uh, an ordered list is bullets using the bullets and an ordered ordered list is the numbering now um, we generally use uh, when we are making presentations and um, 
word files we use um, different writing styles like the bold italics and, uh, and underline so let us see how we can do this in the HTML so I want let us see this uh, list so I want this text to be bold so for the bold the tag is B B tag so I'm closing the B tag here now in the second tag I'm using italics for italics it is I and I am closing the ta italic tag here and for underline it is yes it is U and then I am putting the closing tag by using a forward slash now I am saving the file let us check the file so as you can see in the first bulleted list I have used this uh, I have made the first point as bold the second point as italics and the third point as uh, underlined so the third point has been underlined now there is a mistake this should start from the next line or from a next paragraph so I have made a mistake in my notepad file so what I need to do I have I haven't used after this completion of ordered list I haven't used a break tag or a p tag so I'm using here a break tag now I believe it is correct yes so here are the uh, these are the different headings this is the left alignment center right alignment we have used it in the uh, align attribute for the heading then the bulleted list we also understood uh, we also tried the numbered list also and the tags for bold italics and underline so i'm sure students you all have understood all the tags properly thank you students try it yourself